Good morning my loves and welcome to a vlog. I feel like I haven't spoken to you all in the longest time which to be fair it has been quite long. It's been about two weeks since I last uploaded on YouTube but I just woke up and I really one missed you guys and two just fancied picking up the camera. And I have a really jam-packed busy day planned today and I don't know why I thought I'm gonna vlog because I'm not good at multitasking and I'm not very good at managing my stress. Sorry my camera just died. Yeah I just really fancied vlogging so that's what we're doing. This is a new favourite product from Clay Depot. This is the Hector Fortifying Cream. And what I love about it is it's so rich and creamy, but not greasy and not too thick. It's kind of hard to explain it. It's just such a beautiful texture on the skin. And I feel like it really, really plumps, really hydrates, and just makes my skin feel amazing. Right, so we have so much to talk about and so much to catch up on. I don't even know where to start. Let's talk about the plans for the day. So, so first event is with the brand Shreddy, which is Grace Beverly's brand. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of her already. She used to be known as um, Grace Fit, I think it was. She's kind of an influencer turned entrepreneur and she has some really, really good brands on her roster. I'm actually a big fan of her brands and I buy from them myself a lot personally. The SPF I'm using today is from Beauty Pie. This is one of my all time favorites. It has a bit of a similar texture to this. Again, very luxurious and hydrating. This is also a primer, and I'm just finding SPFs recently have really been irritating my eyes and like getting into my eyes. And you know when you have SPF or sun cream in your eyes and you just feel like you're blind and you can't see anything for the whole day. So I'm just sticking to what I know at the moment, which is this one. And then for foundation, I'm using my Burberry Beauty Foundation. This is a matte foundation. I'm not normally a matte kind of girl, but I actually love this one. I feel like it's really long lasting. It's lightweight, it has a beautiful colour to it. Um, it's also very buildable, so you can kind of wear it on more natural days or you can build it up for the evening. Anyway, as I was saying, Shreddy, which is one of her brands, is one of the brands I haven't tried from her roster. Um, I did try to buy her super greens because, oh my god, the wait list for those greens is currently at 40,000, which is insane. Um, the reviews for them are amazing. I just feel like there's got a lot of hype online, so I really wanted to try, but I didn't manage to get my hands on it last time, so I'm hoping they will have some today that I can get. So we're doing like a Pilates brunch type event this morning, which will be really, really nice. And then straight after that, I'm going to the stables for a ride. And then straight after that, I'm coming home, showering, getting ready, doing my hair, because I have a Dior event this evening. So, um, so I've completely time blocked my day to make sure I'm not running late and I'm not stressed but there is zero gaps within this time block. So I'm just really hoping that I manage to do everything um, on time and without being stressed and being able to actually enjoy what I'm doing. Like I know it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes I have these incredible days filled with the most incredible things and things that I'm so grateful and happy about, but I find sometimes that I'm not able to fully enjoy it because I am really worried about fitting everything in. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to today, even though it's a busy one, I think it's gonna be really nice. And I'm in great company with you guys, which always makes me happy. Uh, this bronzer is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Amber, and this is a cream, which I really like. I just feel like sometimes cream products are easier to blend and like, give you that really flawless, seamless look. And I know it's a bit weird that I'm wearing makeup when I'm about to do Pilates and horse riding, but we have also got like a brunch booked, and I think I just wanna feel nice. This is currently a favorite blush. It's from the brand Merit, and it's so creamy. It just kind of glides on your face. You almost don't need to blend it in that much. It's a really pretty color. I bought this Dior mascara refill, which was supposed to put in the old packaging, and an eye for the life of me cannot work out how to do it. So for now I have this kind of ugly uh, temporary packaging, but I think this is my favorite mascara. I love how it's on the slightly drier side so you don't get these like wet lashes. And it just makes your lashes look quite natural and like a little bit wispy. Kind of like how you would have a little like lash extensions. I was planning on doing a really light makeup look, but I've somehow ended up doing a full face. Uh, just adding some beautiful Carolina Herrera highlighter. It's like a creamy, beautiful kind of shimmer. Um, but without the glitter, I don't like it when they have glitter. Um, just adding this to my nose. I feel like sometimes my nose looks a little bit flat when I've got too much matte foundation on it. So this kind of makes it pop. And we're finishing off with the iconic Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Oh, this is burning my eyelids though. This eczema on my eyelids is just not going. I have products that help it a lot. 
and definitely reduce it and make it look a lot nicer but i haven't found anything that gets rid of it and i'm thinking maybe it's an allergic reaction why does my makeup look really bad on camera it does not look like this in real life um i thought it was the colder weather but now i'm thinking is it an allergic reaction i've switched out all of my skincare products for new ones i tried different makeup products nothing is working but anyway i love this setting spray because it also leaves like a bit of a kind of like a glass layer on your skin and gives you the most beautiful shine okay this is much better lighting can you see what i mean about how the charlotte tilbury spray just puts like a layer on your skin i probably will wrap this down a little bit with some powder um but let's do the lip combo this is wonder skin 360 lip contour lip liner the very similar color to charlotte tilbury iconic nude and then adding the Saint Laurent Love Shine. I love, love, love this. It's my new favourite. It's like a kind of like, it looks like a lipstick, but it kind of comes out like a gloss. I just think that's such a beautiful colour. This is in the shade 150. And then my outfit of the day is from Tala. It always amazes me how well their stuff fits. Like, I don't have a waist, but this has given me a little bit of a kind of like shape, you know? Um... So I'm just wearing this top and trousers. Oh my god, what is on? Can you see that? I need a lint roller ASAP. Where the bunnies sleep on my bed, if I um if I sit on my bed, I often get covered in white bunny fluff. And today's perfume is gonna be Divine Moon by Tory Burch. This is this is so fresh and spring-like. I just love it. One of those perfumes that just puts you in a good mood. Yeah, Three plus supplements in 2019. Your shoes off, grab a mask. Different resistance bands. And a darker one if you want more of a challenge. A bit easier to stay upright. A little more under shoulder. to go through your body. <laughs> Beautiful. See, can we hold in the air for a little while longer this time? We got just, so we want the knees in front of the hips, the ankles in line with the knees, a little 90 degree bend. Beautiful. Be careful that we're not rocking the pelvis back. Front and gently lowering the leg down. We're nearly there. And again, exhale. Uh, no, he's, uh, can you? Um, I literally, um, I was like, Okay, so I'm just going to go get an Uber and go home because I need to quickly get changed into my horse riding gear. Say hello to the vlog Opal. Oh, thank you. You always give me the best kisses. If you can hear a bat, that is Pippin messing up her bed. She does it every day. This is what I mean by her messing up her bed. She puts all of her bedding here. She doesn't like it there. I've tried everything. I've used different litter, I've used puppy pads, and she just does this. I've tried to be really organised and I've laid out all of my outfits for today ready so I can just hop into each one as I go. I've got these breeches on from Equitech, um, gilet from Holland Cooper and everything else is so stinky. I've had to leave it in the car, it's not allowed in the flat anymore. Um, by the way, I don't mean me being stinky, I mean it just smells like horses. I'm not sure whether or not I am do some school work or go on a hack and for the non-equestrian watchers here uh, school work is when you're in like an arena like doing um, exercises and then a hack is when you go um, out and about in the countryside um, just on the horse. I'm kind of hoping to do a school lesson because I feel like it's so good for my brain mentally and also physically um, it's very uh, tiring but the school does get a bit flooded when uh, it's been raining so I'm not sure we'll see. I feel like I always tell you guys I'm going horse riding and I never actually show me horse riding or even like what I do at the stables so and there is kind of a reason behind it I feel like I've said it before but um, horse riding is like my escape and it's a thing I do where I zone out I don't think about work I don't think about to, um, social media getting photos really but it is such a big part of my life and I do want to share it more with you guys so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to take you guys to the yard show you what I actually get up to when I'm there there is honestly not a day that goes past that I don't think about how much I want to buy my own horse one of my biggest goals and part of me thinks life is short and it makes you so happy so you should do it but then the other part of me is like it's such a big commitment but anyway I'm nearly here and I'm on time as well so all is good as you guys know, I have a very tidy wardrobe, but my boot 
is something else. I'm actually embarrassed to show you this, but it's all my horse riding stuff and I don't want to take it indoors because it smells like horse. What a body protector, two helmets, um, my, my muddy boots, got my riding boots which are about to go in there as well. Stop looking, oh and I've got a big fleecy rug here as well. Um, but this is the side Instagram doesn't see. Look at this gorgeous boy. Hello. Hello. You have a very cute nose. And this is Apollo. He's trying to get into my bag. Delicious. Very tasty. Yeah. We are delighted to have you tonight. So tonight is basically about the journey, the journey of Francis Curjon, who is of course the nose of Dior, but one of the most famous noses in the world and of his generation. He's going to take us on this wonderful journey exciting journey creating the new iconic version of Jador, Law de Jador. And you will love it because we start with Charlize and then we go on this spectacular journey. It's a really small and the way that would be Oh my god, this is amazing too. <laughs> I'm now home from the event and I didn't get to show you my outfit so I thought I'd quickly show you it now before I go to bed but this was a really quick turnaround because I had an hour after horse riding to get changed and I hadn't planned my outfit but I feel like this outfit is kind of perfect and it is giving Dior. I've obviously got my Lady Dior bag, this blazer is mesh key, Zara skirt, mango shoes and I filmed everything and like a little get ready with me for TikTok so you'll see it on my YouTube shorts as well but I really like this outfit actually I feel like I need to wear this to a day event as well this blazer is definitely giving Christian Dior with the way it kind of comes in at the waist the exaggerated shoulders beautiful um lapels but yeah it's now nine o'clock and it's been a bit of an on-top day so I'm gonna get into my pajamas now and the event was um with Dior Beauty around their new fragrance launch which is Law by Dior um, which I think they gave me in this bag. Yes. So this is a modern take on their iconic J'adore by Dior, which is a perfume I really love. And this was created by Francis Kuchan, who a lot of you will already know because he has his own fragrance line. He's also worked with um, Saint Laurent, uh, jean paul Gaultier, who else has he worked for? So many huge fashion houses. Um, and this, oh, and this just smells so fresh. 
and beautiful. It's a lovely daily smell. You can also wear this in the evening. I just think this is pure perfection. I'm so excited to wear this, especially coming up into summer. I feel like it is quite a fresh, summery smell. Good evening, my loves. I just went to edit the end of this video and I realized there was no clip. So it must have got deleted or something happened to it. So anyway, I'm about to go out for dinner. It's almost a week later, but I wanted to end the vlog properly. I'm wearing the most unexciting outfit ever, but this is the outfit that I wear and have worn for years and years and years. It's like my fail safe go-to outfit when I don't have time to choose what to wear and I want to feel myself. Um, I don't know what that says about me, but anyway, this is the look. This is a Zara top. These Zara basics are one of my favorites ever. They're just so like skin tight and comfortable, breathable. And then I've got a Zara belt. These trousers are naked and I'm gonna pair it with these little booties from Naked. It is also torrential rain and wind outside. We've got Storm, what is it, Storm Kathleen, I think it's called, um, storming around outside. So that's why I'm wearing all black. I always wear black when it rains. Well, not always, but nearly always. But yeah, I don't want to upload this vlog without saying goodbye. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so, so much. I have missed you. And my next video, I really want to do, I really want to show you some of my new and spring pieces. I have so many gorgeous new spring outfits to wear, ready and waiting, but obviously the weather's just not allowing it for now. So if I can't wear it, at least I can show it to you guys. And if you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I am far, far more consistent than I am with YouTube. I love you all so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.